everyone. Welcome to another episode of rawradianthealth.com and I'm Natasha St. Michael and thank you so much for joining me. So today is Wednesday, it's the middle of the week and I re received a request to talk about healthy options when going to a restaurant and the request was actually for me to talk about raw foods and eating out when someone's on a raw food diet but also eating out when you're just on a healthy diet and you're eating cooked foods but what are the healthy things to eat at restaurants so I thought that's a great question I've done a video before about eating out while on the raw food diet so I'll just quickly kind of summarize what what to do when you're on a raw food diet and then I'll move on into what to do when you're on a cooked food diet but you want to eat healthy so when you're on a raw food diet and you want to eat out, there are many options. I, I mean, I go out to restaurants and there's always something for me to eat. And pretty much the options are, is either fresh fruit or having a salad, unless you find a raw food restaurant. And sometimes vegetarian or vegan restaurants might have a few raw food options. So it's a matter of looking around and seeing what's available for you. But I do find that, like, let's say I go out for brunch, okay? What I will do is a lot of times because brunch includes the breakfast menu and sort of the lunch menu as well, a lot of times I'm, I might actually start with having just a fruit plate and then I'll have a salad afterwards. So therefore it gives me a little bit more variety um, without just, just having either fruit or salad. And when I go out for dinner, lately what I've been doing is I've noticed that a lot of restaurants will usually have more than one type of salad on a menu. A lot of times they might have like a mixed green salad or they might have like a spinach salad, different types of salads. That a lot of times what I'll do is I'll order one salad as an appetizer and then another salad as my main dish. And this way, while I'm eating with people that are having normally an appetizer and a main meal, I'm, I'm not just sitting there without anything in front of me and just staring at them eating. That there's something for me to eat, I enjoy it, I get a little variety, I get to try different things out, and everyone's happy. So that's what's been working for me lately, being on a raw food diet. Now, let's say someone is on a cooked food diet, but they're eating, you know, a high percent raw, but when they go out once in a while, they like to eat some cooked food, and they want they want to know what are the healthy options are, what, what kind of restaurants should they be going to, where they can find healthier food. Now, the main thing that I always tell my clients that that are going through this and, and trying to make the best decision is so as to approach your meals and approach a menu as what are the healthiest options. And usually it comes down to eating foods that have a lot of vegetables in it, okay? And staying away from, I'd say foods that you really should be staying away from at restaurants are things that really don't have much nutrition in it, okay? It's just mostly like, you know, kind of like empty processed food, okay? And, and that would be like staying away from pasta, staying away from breaded meals, things like that. And I'd also suggest staying away from anything that's deep fried, anything that has a lot of oil, a lot of cheese, a lot of cream in it, anything that's really like super high fat or those things that are just kind of don't have much nutrition in it, okay? So you want to kind of stay away from that and find healthier options. And so that would be dishes that would include a lot of vegetables and it can also include some cooked beans, it can include some um, some some grains that are gluten free like quinoa or millet or brown rice but you kind of want to stay away from eating like bread and rice things like that okay so let's say you're you're trying to decide what what kind of restaurant to go to i'd say the healthiest restaurants would be a lot of times like a japanese restaurant usually has very healthy food, okay? You can get a beautiful seaweed salad, you can get a miso soup, even sushi's good, okay? I would stay away from tempura, things that have been battered and deep fried, okay? Those are like, you know, so you see, healthy options and non-healthy options, stick with the healthy stuff. Then you can also choose too, like, going to something a little bit different, like a Middle Eastern restaurant, where they have a lot of vegetable uh, salads with beans and they even have like hummus and baba ganoush and, and different things that are made from whole foods okay and that are 
are, you know, sort of maintaining some of the integrity of the original food, okay? That it's not been so processed down, but, you know, these foods are cooked, but at least they still do have some nutrition in it, and and it, it's it's healthy, you know? So that's another option. And, and let's say you were to go to an Italian restaurant, they always have beautiful salads on the menu. They have a minestrone soup, which is also made out of different legumes. And a lot of times you can find too, an appetizer that's got some grilled vegetables, things like that. So, you know, don't be afraid too that instead of ordering like a main dish, you can always order two appetizers as your main dish. And a lot of times I find appetizers to be a lot healthier than the actual main dishes. So, you know, there, there's ways of doing things a little bit differently and, and trying different things out. And also too, Asian restaurants have plenty of vegetables and, and greens in their dishes. And you can get vegetarian dishes that, you know, are either lightly stir fried or steamed or things like that, that are a great, great option too for when you're dining out and you want to maintain things being healthy. Just kind of keep the, the rice and things like that on the side and don't go near anything that's been deep fried. Okay, and, and also too, like let's say you're going to a Mexican restaurant, why not have the taco salad without having, you know, the sour cream and the cheese, you know, it's like you can still enjoy the guacamole and the salsa and things like that, and even the beans, but, you know, just keep the, the fatty stuff to the side. And there's also too, you know, that I, I do want to point out that, you know, when you're eating out, you know, sometimes you can cut yourself some slack, you know, you don't have to be like so super disciplined all the time. It's all right to once in a while to go out and just have foods that you normally don't eat because, you know, as long as you're, you're keeping it as something once in a while, it's not going to affect you in the long run. You know, it, it's when someone's day in and day out just eating, you know, bad, unhealthy food over and over and over again. But let's say you go through months without having, you know, any kind of so you know unhealthy food then it's all right to sort of cut yourself a little bit of slack if you want to have a few you know corn chips it's not a big deal so the main thing is is you know you want to keep the majority of the food that you're eating healthy and you always want to be informed be alert and you know realize that that there's more options than you think a lot of times people think that if they're eating healthy then you know they got to stay at home and they got to just hide away and just never eat in public again. And no, there's a lot of healthy options out there. It's just looking for it, seeking it out, and thinking about it, and looking at a menu and seeing what is presented to you. So, and you can always work too with the restaurant and be like, you know, can I have this but without this? You know, I mean, I do that all the time, like ordering salads. You know, they might have a salad on the menu that's got meat in it, so I ask for it without. You know, no big deal. <laughs> so those are my little tips for the day. And I'm wishing you guys a fabulous, fabulous day. And I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.